What makes a good movie? Is it the special effects? Is it the musical score? Or is it the story? While it's true that it's all of the above working together in perfect harmony, it's also true that a good movie doesn't need special effects to be good. It doesn't even need music to be good. It needs a story. You're there to find out what happens. No matter how many explosions or classic soundtracks play from beginning to end, it's the story that keeps you engaged. So what makes a good open world game? Gameplay would be the number one component for any game. But when it comes to an open world game, you need a good open world. How did GTA become the most successful media title of all time? It wasn't an accident. It was the result of several years of practice of open world game design that set Rockstar's path to success. They paid attention to the details. They made a believable world. And if it weren't for the NPCs that filled these worlds, these maps wouldn't feel as real as they do. When you load up a map on Halo by yourself, you get an uneasy feeling. This is Canopsia. The eerie atmosphere of a place that usually has people populating it, but now has nothing. I'd argue that you get a subtle, altered version of that when you're in a map with unconvincing NPCs. Rather than putting these characters out of your mind, you notice that something isn't quite right with them. This is what makes other games feel somewhat off-putting. This is one of the many things that make Rockstar's games feel more real, more human. You feel disconnected from the world and people around you in some of these other games. Because these NPCs don't convince you that they are human. They're very clearly just rigged figures meant to walk down the sidewalk. Nothing about them stands out. Nothing about them is believable. In many cases, it feels more like the developers ticked a required box, rather than pushing to innovate that aspect of their game. Oh, we have to have people walking on these sidewalks, so do it. Whereas Rockstar turns that checkbox into an art. You can interact with the NPCs in such amazing ways, like calling an ambulance, police officer, or fire truck, and having them arrive in your area looking for the problem. Rockstar knows the value these NPCs have, the value of immersion, the value of quality. You can interact with NPCs in a much more real sense in these games, which makes you believe in what you're seeing and where you are. In a Rockstar title, characters don't feel copy and pasted. Each one feels unique. From the walk animation to the way they react. Men will ambush you if you hit a woman. Most taxi drivers and some civilians will try to take their car back from you if you steal it, while others will run off. Saying something negative to one NPC may cause them to avoid you, while what you say to another may cause a fight. You make me want to puke. You're really making my skin crawl. Uh, Don't come back around here, you're getting fucked up. When it rains, some NPCs grab an umbrella, while others, who may not have one, run for shelter. To only think of the amount of traits that are loaded in on any NPC at any given time is amazing. In a Rockstar game, when your game loads in an NPC, they load up an entire personality, set of behaviors, voice types, interaction decisions, special animations, gender traits, and more. They fake a personality, not a walk route. The NPC navigates the world in different ways. They walk, drive, sail, or fly through the environment. The paths are always pre-decided or mapped out in advance. The NPC is simply sticking to a general route, making basic decisions along the way, like stopping when you're in the way, or going around when you're in the way too long. They are told to follow these paths till something changes or goes wrong. But the brain behind these NPCs gets even more challenging when it comes to police or aggressive NPCs. They have to put up a challenging situation for the player. 
They have to be able to go off the beaten path, to make decisions on the fly, decisions that don't look stupid. They have to drive and walk on beaches, grasslands, mountains, oceans, or alleys seamlessly, in such a way that looks believable. The hours of work that go behind these NPC brains is the most successful when it goes unnoticed. Because when you can tell that the police are making bad decisions or look stupid trying to get you, then your immersion is ruined and the game is less believable. GTA 4 used amazing technology to bring their NPCs to life. In older Grand Theft Auto games, when you would run an NPC over, it'd be like hitting a soft wall. You'd bounce, and the NPC would trigger a falling down animation. In GTA 4, they used Euphoria Physics, a software that simulated on-the-fly reactions from characters. This is why the NPCs in GTA 4 would fall over more realistically. They would reach to grab things or soften their falls. This was truly a next generation feature. If they wanted their car back, they'd even grab onto the handle and have trouble letting go when you drove off. These details, however minor they may seem, are what made GTA 4 feel so real. The NPC usually has to follow the same rules as the players. Otherwise, you can frustrate a player. For instance, when an AI rubber bands to catch up to you when you're winning in a racing game. These physics act on the NPCs in the same way they act on you, the player. So if you think the handling on a car is difficult, imagine that a computer is having to calculate decisions on how to drive them too. Not only for every car on the map, but for every police car tailing you in a chase as well. They have to fight gravity and rain. They have to obey the law, and if they don't, they get arrested. They have to know how to fly, drive, swim, climb, run, fight, and aim their gun. The seamless transfer between these actions and decisions is truly a work of art, and these developers are extremely talented at their work. Everything you see these NPCs do had to be programmed. Someone had to think about how to replicate the natural world, to replicate the humanity we take for granted. If a studio fails to achieve a human-like AI in their open world game, they miss out on millions of dollars. Before Rockstar was focused on stretching out their games to make money, they were always focused on making the best game of their time. They knew a player could only believe in their worlds if they felt at home if they felt it was real. And humanity is what makes our world home. So humanity is what makes Rockstar Worlds real. Ooh. 